Hello and welcome to this color analysis session. I am so glad that you are here. Is this your first time? Mm, excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and find the perfect colors that will suit you best. I do feel like most of the time we do shop emotionally, we have biases when it comes to colors, and I'm going to help break those down. I have been doing this for years, so you are in good hands. I've been analyzing celebrities, businesses, and everyone in between, and all of my clients leave happy and with the knowledge to shop confidently. Okay, so that is the goal for you as well. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and just take a look at your beautiful face. Okay, I'm going to do a little face analysis, okay? So, if you don't mind, my hands are clean. And I'm just going to go ahead and just move your bangs away from your face, okay? I'm just going to sweep, 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 sweep them away from your face. And I'm also just going to tuck, tuck, I'm just going to tuck, tuck, tuck the rest over and under, over and under your ears. Okay, so let's just have a look here. I'm going to get a little close and personal. My apologies. I hope you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have beautiful skin, beautiful complexion, beautiful tone. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let me just grab my clipboard. I'm just gonna write. Some things down. So as far as your coloring goes, you are dark with red cheeks. Just me, this all makes sense. And your tone would be clear and Mm-hmm. Who knew? Okay, so I do have some questions that I'm also going to be asking you as well. So when sun tanning, does your skin burn easily, tan slowly, or tan faster? Okay, you would say tan slowly. So, what is your natural hair color? Is, is this your natural hair color? No? Okay. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Gorgeous locks. That is for sure. That is for sure. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to have a look at your eyes, okay? So, I'm going to look at the overall color of your eyes, of course. And I'm also going to take a look at the flecks in your eyes as well, okay? The flecks, yes, in your irises. Okay, so let me go ahead and just grab a flashlight, okay? I want you to look right here center of my forehead, right in between those brows, okay? Okay, so just, just look straight, okay? Open up pretty wide. Mm -hmm. I know you can feel the warmth of the light. That's not bothering you in any way, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I think I got it. Let me jot this down. So, you have what I call rosy brown black eyes. I know, that's a lot. <laughs> and you have cool brown flecks as well as black flecks. Okay, so which shade of lipstick do you prefer? Pink, red, coral, or peach? That's a hard one. Okay, so equally pink and red. You tend to alternate. Yes, I hear you. I love my lipstick shades. I couldn't choose just one. Okay. So, what do you have more of in your jewelry box? Silver? Gold? Equal as well? Okay. I'll just jot down both. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the jewelry test, okay? So, I have some gold hoops, and I also have some silver hoops. And I'm going to go ahead and put these silver hoops right against your complexion, okay? Right against your face. Okay. Mm-hmm. I just want to see which one looks best, which one brightens you up, gives you more life. Uh -huh. Okay. Then we have gold. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, the verdict is silver suits you best. Okay, I'm just gonna circle silver. So, which colors would you wear if you could only choose three? Okay, we have coral, buttermilk, and bronze. Okay, I love me some bronze, clearly. We have charcoal, dusty rose, and turquoise. Okay, we have ivory, tomato red, and turquoise. And lastly, we have lemon yellow, fuchsia, and mint green. The last three, lemon yellow, fuchsia, and mint green. Okay. Oh, what color is your car? Strange question. Okay, white. And what is your overall favorite color? If you have one, if you don't, that's fine too. Mm -hmm. Pink. Okay. And next, we are going to start our draping process, which is my personal favorite. And it is quite literal. Okay, the draping process consists of these fabric swatches that I will quite literally drape over you, over your decollete and your chest. And we will take a look at each color and we're going to see if these colors harmonize with you. Do they make your appearance brighter or do they create a jaundice or a sallow complexion? Do they drain you? Okay, we want the colors to bring life to you. And in general, I know when a color is best for you when I am directed towards your face and not necessarily the color, the swatch. Because we don't want a color to be overpowering. We don't want a color to be too subtle. Okay. 
So I'm going to start with some neutrals and then we are going to move over to our colors, our blues, our greens, our purples, and so forth. Yes, everyone can wear every color in the rainbow. It's just about finding the right tone in each color family. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and start. And I am going to start with our neutrals. So here is a black. Okay. So, just having a look here. And you could just take a look. Right there we have a mirror just for you. If you have any comments about any of the colors, feel free to let me know. But I definitely would say black is a beautiful color on you. Would you agree? Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the Yes pile. So we are creating your color palette. And this color palette that we create is going to help us figure out which out of the four seasons are you. I am in autumn. So here we go. We have white. This is a bright white. Okay. Just have a look there. Gorgeous. I think that this is quite complimentary on you. Honestly, not everyone can pull off a white and not everyone can pull off a black quite as good as you can. Okay, now this is an ivory. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So, I personally think that this is a bit too warm for you. So, I'm going to say no to this. What do you think? Okay. So, putting this in the no pile. This is also what I would consider a neutral, which is a red. Okay. Mm -hmm. I do think that reds will suit you beautifully. Uh, maybe even a brighter red. A more true blue-based red, but I do like that this is blue-based. So I am going to say yes. Okay, let's have a look at this beautiful shade. This is a bright fuchsia. And I'm definitely going to say yes to this. Do you wear a lot of pinks? Mm. Okay. So, we have this color here, which is a really beautiful hot pink. Very cool toned. And I'm definitely going to say yes. I think pink, for certain, is your color. This one is a bit more of a bubblegum pink. I feel like it has a hint of purple. Which I think purple also suits you really, really well. So I am loving this on you. Maybe even brighter. Uh, but this is really nice. It's not too pastel. Okay, this one is a little lighter. And honestly, I still like this. I do. Okay. 
So I'm going to say yes to this as well. This one is quite light. Um, hmm. I do like pretty much all the pinks on you. I still really like this one. I just think it's a bit light. So I'm just going to put that in the no pile. But I think you might still get away with that one. Okay, this one here is like a pastel peach and it does lean a bit more warm so I am going to say no for this one I think that would not be a good fit it did have a slight pink hue to it um, where this one has more of an orange hint to it and I'm going to say no for this one as well Okay, so we are moving on to yellows. I think this is a beautiful yellow on you. Yellows are, you know, on the warmer side, of course. But this one is much more of a cooler, almost lemon type of yellow. So I'm going to say yes to this one. This one is definitely brighter. Not many people can pull this off, but I have to say, absolutely stunning. I could see you wearing a yellow dress in this color. And it would be absolutely striking. Absolutely striking. Now we're moving on to more of our traditional oranges. This is more of a, um, a yellow orange. Hmm. I am quite neutral about this color. I feel like you could possibly pull this off because there's a lot of yellow in this, but uh, I still feel like orange is not your best color, so I'm going to put this in the no pile, but it's really a maybe. Okay, so then we have a traditional orange, uh, very traffic cone orange. Very orange, it's a new black, yes. Um, I'm going to say no to this one. This one is even brighter. So, also a no. Orange is much too warm and it clashes. So, in this coral here is very interesting because I do feel like corals are an exception. They are very warm. However, if you find a coral that leans more pink, then I feel like it would look absolutely beautiful on you. This one isn't too bad. It's not too orange leaning. I'm going to say no for now. But I do feel like corals will look beautiful on you. It's just about finding the right coral. This one is a dusty rose. And I don't think that this is bad. It is a bit too muted. Uh, but I do think it's not a horrible color on you. But I do find that the more bright, vivid colors look best and that may be a bit too subdued. This one is much better. This is a nice pop of color. It does have that like layer of dustiness. It's not like super 
vibrant, but it is very flattering. So I'm going to say yes to this one. And this is a lighter shade of purple. A really beautiful lavender shade. And this is quite nice as well. Hmm. But I still think that vibrant, even richer colors suit you best. Okay, so now we're moving on to blues. This is a beautiful periwinkle blue, which is such a classic color. And what I love about periwinkle is that every color season looks absolutely stunning in this shade, which is wonderful because this is the color of the year. So, even better because we will see this color a bit more prominently since it is the color of the year. So I do like that one. It's not bad. Okay, then we have another classic. This would be considered a neutral. This is a navy. And this is an absolute yes. This looks stunning with your hair. As your hair is very rich. So very black that it's blue. Mm -hmm. so, this complements your hair quite nicely, so I'm going to say yes. Then we have this color here, which this is gorgeous on you. It's very bright. It's very vivid. It brings life. It's not overpowering. This may be an overpowering color for some, but not. Then we have this color here. Blues are also going to look absolutely stunning on you. So I'm going to say yes to this one as well. And we have this one here. This just reminds me of a cool breeze. I'm going to say yes to this one even though it is a bit lighter. I do feel like if the lighter colors are still bright, they will work well with you. So. Let's see. This is really beautiful, but it is a bit too so I'm going to actually pass on this one. This one is pale, but it is a bit more brighter. And this one has a bit more green. This is a minty green. Very beautiful. I find that uh, these icy colors look really gorgeous on you. This one is a turquoise shade, I would say. It is quite pretty. Maybe a bit too warm of a green. Oh, I'm pass on that for now. It's not a bad color. Hmm. It's not a bad color either. It's not my favorite. I like the mint green better than this like mint spring green. So I'm going to say no to that one as well. Let's see. Hmm. This one is really, really warm. I'd 
house again, a lot of yellow. What do you think? Yeah. So I'm going to pass on this one. Hmm, this one's really, really nice. Yeah, I really like this one on you. If you were to wear a green, this is a really beautiful green, so yeah. This green, it looks so similar to the other one. This one is a bit more vibrant and this is like the dulled out version of this one. I much prefer this one, to be honest. But this one isn't bad either. I like this one. This is like a sage green. It's not my favorite on you. This is an olive green, so it's very, very warm. Um, I don't think this one suits you either. Yeah. So then we have this lovely shade of green. This is like a pine green. It's very rich, very deep. I think that this is gorgeous on you. Black is everything on you, but this would be a really beautiful dark color to wear as well. Yeah. I'm glad you agree. So now we're moving on to grapes. This is your standard gray. It's not too dark, not too light. This is actually really beautiful on you. I do like grays on you, so that is a yes. And then we have a dove gray. Or this is more of a cement gray. Yeah. This is also beautiful on you. Can't go wrong with grays. I wouldn't wear grays too much, but when looking for a neutral, grays are going to be your best bet as they are very cool. This is a dove gray, much more lighter, uh, very subtle. I like it. I like it a lot. So. Mm -hmm. browns. I am going to tell you right off the bat that browns aren't going to be your best friend, okay? You really want to stick with a much more cooler palette. You can still wear browns, but I feel like a cool brown would be your best bet. So a brown like this isn't bad. Okay, I would say it's doable. And just to compare, this still looks quite warm. This is very, very warm of a brown. This is much more a cooler brown. Okay. You can see that much more better. Makes sense. So the other ones are quite warm, so I'm not going to bother too much with them. Um, yeah, all of these are just super, super warm. And I can already tell that they're not going to fit your color palette. Although, again, you can wear a brown neutral. You can wear um, 
a coffee cool brown you could wear a pewter um, cool brown uh, taupe things like that if you really love that neutral color scheme but you don't want to do too much and it's always best to incorporate some colors uh, from what I can see from the draping process. I'm going to put these all together and I am going to walk you through your color season. So, the color season that you are is winter. Did you guess that? This here is a swatch palette, and I'm going to read off the names from your palette. So, starting off with silver, of course, because this is the metal that best suits you. We have pure white. We have soft white we have stone taupe icy gray light gray medium gray pewter charcoal we have black navy black brown Icy pink Powder pink Rose pink Shocking pink Hot pink Magenta Fuchsia Deep Rose Cranberry Raspberry Burgundy Blue Red Icy Violet Violet Plum Aubergine Purple Icy Blue Medium Blue True blue, royal blue, deep periwinkle, bright periwinkle, mint, emerald turquoise, hot turquoise. Chinese blue teal clear teal true red icy yellow lemon yellow true green Emerald green Pine And 
that is the last shade from the Swatch palette. Beautiful colors. Okay, so with your hair coloring being a rich, deep black, these are the colors that best suit your hair color and they certainly correspond with your color season so that is fantastic okay so we have black and we have shades of gray fading into our light ivory and our pure white and we do see some orange even though I do not recommend this shade for you in particular but of course, that is a personal preference, but I do love this red and I do love this yellow. We also see some pinks, okay, this beautiful carnation pink, and this light baby pink. We see this hot pink, and this royal purple, this other beautiful shade of pink. Very similar to this one, but a bit lighter, more pastel. And if you flip it over, we have some blues. We have some rich blues. This indigo here. We have the sky blue and some navies. And lastly, we have some shades of green. We have a teal, we have an emerald green, a mint green, and this looks black, but it has a tinge of green. So there's that. Just a confirmation that your hair suits your color season, so that's great. And this set of swatches is for you. This will be your little shopping companion, something you can pop in your purse and it will guide you. So this is the Color Me A Season, a color-coded fan for your season. So it says here, Color Me Winter. Shimmering ice with warm, friendly fires. Elegance, poise, and drama. Independence, quietness, with a touch of shyness. Winter's look is elegance. The bold colors of winter accent the striking color scheme of the season. Rich materials such as velvet, Satin, suede, and wool help to achieve the poised appearance. Geometric prints or plaids are simple enough and do not take away from winter's striking look. For jewelry, silver, crystal, diamonds, stones that match winter bouquet, gold when skin has an outer warm appearance. So this also gives you a little breakdown. I will show you. So we have the winter color bouquet. Winter's red. Winter's yellow. Winter's blue. Winter's green. And winter's red. Then we have winter's maroon, winter's pink, winter's black, winter's brown, winter's navy blue. We have winter's gray, winter's mulberry, winter's burgundy, and winter's turquoise blue. We also have some lipstick shades. 
as the rest goes by color category. So we have the reds, the purples, browns, greens, blues, and that is for you. Okay. So More specifically, you are a bright, clear winter. Let me describe what a bright, clear winter is, okay? Your color palette resembles the harsh blue winter during a cascading winter storm, with a valley blanketed by white fluffy snow at night. The depths of the dark horizon and bright snow give the sky an illuminating glow of blue and purple and lighting up any surrounding foliage. Deep green of the forest and bright red from the surviving roses. Think of Snow White with her dark, rich hair and her pale skin. In your case, you have a beautiful, dark, rich complexion with bright, pearly whites. You have a very high contrast and a cool tonality, making you bright and clear. Okay, hopefully that makes sense, but I will tell you a bit more. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about Bright Winter so you can leave the knowledge that you deserve. So Bright Winter is bright and cool, though the colors are uncommon in the natural world, being so vivid. Bright Winters can pull off wild combinations that would overwhelm any other color season. Bright winter is one of the three winter seasons and sits between true winter and bright spring on the seasonal flow chart. Unlike bright spring, the season is cool. However, both sister seasons are a blend of spring and winter. With bright spring leaning more towards the spring palette and bright winter leaning more towards the winter palette. What are the characteristics of a bright winter? You are a bright winter if the primary color aspect of your overall appearance is bright and the secondary aspect is cool, meaning cool colors suit you better than warmer ones. When you look in the mirror, the first thing you notice about your coloring is a very high contrast between your hair, skin, and eyes. Your features are saturated and bright with no muddiness, giving you a crisp and clear appearance. Possibly your eyes may be your most striking feature. Sparkling like jewels, they often stand in contrast against the darker hair. In your case, they stand out against your beautiful dark complexion. In addition, your coloring has cool undertones, meaning silver flatters your skin more than gold. So, here's a look at Bright Winter. So, for the eyes, we have blue, cyan, cool brown, and black. Bright winters may have strikingly bright, sparkling eyes. Eye colors range from blue over cyan to dark brown and black. Regardless of the color, they are always going to be cool. Typical of winter eyes, you may see border defining iris and possibly spokes on the iris. There is also a high contrast between the iris and the whites of the eye which makes the eyes appear clear and bright. For skin, we have neutral cools and neutrals. We have fair, light, medium, tan, dark, and deep. Okay. The skin 
skin is either neutral or neutral cool, meaning both silver and gold look good against it, but silver always looks better. Skin tones range from fair to deep. The skin's appearance is clear, and it often has a certain translucent quality to it. Darker skins have a glowing, almost glassy shine to them. Some bright winters also have freckles. And then we have the hair. Medium brown, dark brown, brown black, black. This color season's hair is quite dark. It can range from medium brown to black and can have either blue or ash undertones or be neutral. Out of all the seasons, bright winter is one with the highest contrast between skin, hair, and eyes. There is even a high contrast between the iris and whites of the eye. In the images below, you can see the different shades between the features. In the first image, the light skin and eyes stand in contrast to the dark hair. And in the second image, the high contrast is created by the dark features against the whites of the eyes and the teeth. Though, no, not visible in this specific image. Okay. So. Here is the bright winter, bright and cool, and the bright spring, bright and warm. So you can see a clear difference. Okay. So here we have another visual breakdown of the bright, also known as clear winter. Here are some celebrity examples. We have Jennifer Connelly, Katy Perry, Zhang Zi, Megan Fox, Alexis Bledel, and Lupita Nyong'o. Okay, so best colors for you are vivid, intense hues, slightly cool, and possibly icy, pure color mixed with white. And the worst colors for you are rusty warm shades and dusty pastels. Mm -hmm. The rusty warm shades would definitely fall in the autumn category, whereas the dusty pastels will definitely fall in the summer category. Okay, so then we can also take a look at our color spectrum beautiful shades to work with. So here we have a winter palette that is specific to our clear slash bright winters. So for instance, we have white, vivid yellow, carnation pink, Mexican pink, bright lavender, vivid sky blue, French violet, turquoise, just beautiful vivid colors. I also have some fashion examples. So these are some outfits that we have put together for our bright winters with their color palette. So this would be a capsule wardrobe. Okay. So we have this pinstripe black and white uh, blazer with this red top with a cap sleeve. And we have these black slacks and red flats, and we have a matching clutch in red and black. So that is definitely a bit dressy. I love the pops of red. And then for the next outfit, we have this silk fuchsia blouse and white pants. So this is quite a sparkling outfit, and we also have these black and white flats in this beautiful striped print. So here are some examples on how to wear red and blue together. I love these red heels, and I love that sapphire blue. It's very, very stunning. So these are some clear winter basics. You do see a lot of gray. Gray is great. It does say you can wear black, but avoid too much by the face. Here are also some more neutrals. So, 
again some blacks and grays we do have a bit more brown in here as well we have coffee which is like a brown black we have black charcoal which is a blackish gray and we have a light gray a pewter a taupe and a pure white so here is an example on how to wear purple this has been broken down by the three different winters. We have a deep winter, cool winter, and your clear winter. So you can see the differences and the similarities. But here for you, we have the icy purple dress, we have a deep purple blazer, and fuchsia heels. And we have some more ideas here. The bright winter romantic. We have the bright winter ingenue and I personally love black and teal together it is a gorgeous combination this is more of a deep teal almost pine but not quite and I also love fuchsia fuchsia with jeans black tea perfect here we have a bold and bright look classic black and white act as neutral anchors to this bright and high contrast look which mixes and matches bold sapphire with vibrant pink toned reds and lastly look at how gorgeous this dress is i absolutely believe that fuchsia for sure is your color and i love the pop of sapphire heels and that fuchsia clutch it just all comes together but I am going to show you tangible pieces that I think will look beautiful on you pink is absolutely my favorite color on you this is a gorgeous carnation pink we have some lace details at the sleeves. I love a bit of drama on the sleeves. It's very, very gorgeous. So, what do you think about this? It's a beautiful color. Absolutely, absolutely. Not many people can pull off this color. You can pull off many colors, actually, so you're quite lucky. So, this is another pink blouse or sweater, I should say. This is long sleeved and this has hot pink and black and it is a hound's tooth print. Very, very beautiful. So, this is a great way to wear a bold color because it has a mixture of black so it's not too striking but striking enough and we have some more of that hot pink at the cuff and at the end of the blouse so, very beautiful Texture wise, I love silk. It's going to look absolutely stunning with your complexion, your glass like skin. This is just going to give that added glow. And this color is just gorgeous. This is the type of fuchsia that is going to look stunning on you. I also like this pearl accent. As the pearls are quite cool and we also have these diamond accents that almost serve as a silver you can wear silver earrings or pearls and that would look absolutely beautiful there's also this really pretty bow detail on the back with a little opening And we have a slight puff at the sleeves. You like the 
this one. Right. Now, moving on to a slightly different color. This is a red. It's quite a true red. Red is also going to look very beautiful on you. And this also has a pattern of black and white with the floral detail. So everything about this piece falls within the color palette. We have some lacing up the top, which is quite romantic. Sheer sleeves. It's very flowy. Most of the time with the flowy tops, I do tend to tuck them in. <laughs> but yeah, the lacing goes all the way around. Okay. And we talked about sapphire. Sapphire is absolutely stunning, 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 stunning. Next pink, this would be your other option that is an absolute favorite. So I love the crinkly uh, neckline, almost like a ribbon. We have the same. And also down at the bottom, it's a bit of a crop top, but not really. But yeah, the color is everything, obviously. Okay. Sometimes white can be a bit much, pure white or black can be a bit much, but combining the two is really, really beautiful. So when you see a top that combines both colors, I definitely suggest going for it. So this is an option here. Okay. It's less basic, but here we have the white, and then we have the over-exaggerated sleeves. So we have the bell sleeve core dress. So we have this beautiful floral detail that is in fact lace. We have these ribbons all throughout the sleeve, wrapped around the sleeve ever so beautifully with the beaded trim. It's really such a gorgeous piece. It is art, in my opinion. So this one is really, really fun. And this is a gorgeous green. So here we have the beautiful pine, rich and deep. My favorite Part about this top is this beautiful silver chain that goes all around, all around the sleeve. I love that it is silver, so it is going to work with your color palette. And again, another flowy piece, but the color is just absolutely outstanding. There's that. It's all about the little details, don't you agree? This is a purple that is really beautiful. I would pair something like this with perhaps 
white jeans or even black jeans. Let me show you. So here's a pair of white jeans and a pair of black jeans. Since your color palette is quite bright and bold, going with the most basic pants is your best bet. You can of course go with some good old blue jeans, that's great too, but my absolute favorite color combination with any of those colors would be these, as it's not competing, okay? So, again, I would wear this solid piece with one of these, and perhaps for shoes, I can wear something like this. Okay, so that is very casual, right? So let me show you another option as well. So. Here we have a white sweater. This is pure white. What I like about this is that it's not boring. It is a solid color, but there is still a lot of detail to it. We have a lot of fringe at the sleeve. Very, very cute. This is a beautiful chenille, so it's very, very soft. And we have the cable knit detail. So it's very, very, very beautiful. And I would actually wear this with the black jeans, just for that, again, contrast. I definitely wouldn't do white jeans with this. That would be too much. So we have our black jeans with this oversized sweater. It's a bit long, so I like that. And then I would pair it with... this fuchsia bag. Okay, let me show you up close. But this is the bag. As you can see, it is brand new. So here is the outfit. I absolutely love this bag. This bag turns any basic outfit into a fun, exciting outfit. So I definitely suggest getting a bag that is a nice pop of color. Okay, make sure it's a solid. I feel like a solid would work best, not necessarily a printed bag. So I really love this one. It's a beautiful fuchsia. It has wonderful silver accents. So all of the metal is silver as you can see. And it really is a game changer. It really is. And in terms of shoes, you can really do a lot. I will suggest either going with a white shoe, a black shoe, or a pop of color in your color palette. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the makeup portion of this session. I do apply makeup, but I do not apply foundation or concealer. I just apply the color products. But I do have here makeup for the bright winter. Since you have a deep complexion, you wanna go with either deep espresso or deepest black, you definitely want to go for a pink undertone since you are very much cool, okay? Or neutral cool. Mm -hmm. And no bronzing or contouring necessary for the bright winter. For eyeshadow, we have lemon, icy purple, icy blue, icy green, umber, dark gray, mulberry, dark plum, emerald blue, dark cerulean, emerald green, forest green. For eyeliner, you want to skip the black, go with either dark gray, navy, purple. Uh, for mascara, definitely black. And for lips and cheeks, we have a 
hibiscus, pale boysenberry, mulberry, pale raspberry, light berry red, coral, for lipstick we have fuchsia, vivid lilac, purple, magenta, cherry red, and raspberry. But of course I'm going to show you some options myself. And we are going to start with the eyeshadow. Now, I do suggest a palette like this. This is the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. Personally, I love a beautiful, icy, silver look on the eyes. This is a bit more subdued, definitely more taupe. And this is a great neutral palette to have because it is very much cool tone and you can always incorporate those fun colors as well. Okay, so we talked about our neutral palette and now let's talk about the colorful palette. This is one that I highly recommend. This is the Warriors 3 palette by Juvia's. We have a wonderful selection of both metallics and mattes. I don't recommend every color. I don't recommend this one or this one. You can get away with this one, but what really stands out are the blues. I love these metallics. Absolutely gorgeous. This green, this hot pink, and this purple. So these colors would make wonderful accent colors, wonderful liners. Just gorgeous. Okay. So there is that. And then we have this palette as well. Another palette to play around with. This is the Morphe and Avani Greg palette. And we have, again, some wonderful pops of colors. I love the blues, the greens, the purples. And these smaller pans are actually liner shades. So we have some wonderful colors that work well with your color palettes and you can get really creative with this palette as well. Plus this color right here would be a gorgeous icy pink. So what would you like to add to your eyes? Do you want something neutral, a balance of neutral and colorful, or do you really just want to go Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try out this palette. I think we are going to start out with this beautiful frosty shade. So let's just pop that on the lid, shall we? Okay. So just close your eyes. this onto your mobile lid and on this side beautiful now I think for the crease I would like to go in with this color here Close your eyes still. We're gonna blend, 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 bl
So this is also going in the outer corner here of the lid, creating a really pretty ombre effect. Just patting it in, patting it in, patting it in, patting it in. Gorgeous. shade and I'm just placing this all throughout your lower lash line and again lower, lower, lower lash line there okay and taking some of that blue and this is just gonna go on the outer end of your lower lash line just like so Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of this white, not too much, and just pop that on the brow bone. And just pop that on the brow bone. Okay. Taking this small little detail brush, and again in the white, and just popping this. waterline so stay still for me okay so I want you to look down for me okay so I do your waterline okay here we go perfect perfect and your tight line look up This really makes your eyes that much more brighter. Okay, so just adding some mascara. This is from Wander Beauty. It's the Mile High Club. Okay, so when I say blink, I want you to blink. Okay. Blink, 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 blink. Okay, in this eye. And your lower lashes, pushing, 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 pushing. And your lower lashes. Okay. Now for blush, we can go with something like this. This is Fenty Beauty's Crush on Cupid. Very bright and fun. A gorgeous fuchsia. We can also uh, go with a purple. This is Marc Jacobs Outspoken. You do have to be careful with purple, so you don't want anything too light because then it could look a bit ashy. But this is a beautiful, like, pearlescent purple. So it's really going to glow. Okay. And then we also have this one as well. This is from Glossier, and it's in the shade Haze. Another fuchsia as well. More purple, less pink. This one has more pink. Mm. Okay. So, we'll go with this one. Perfect. And a 
wash away. We can add a little bit of a dusting of this purple. That is a good idea. Okay, here we go. Push, 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 push. Okay. Now, for lips, fuchsia again is the way to go. This is Sheer Anarchy from Urban Decay. I'm guessing this would be the best, but I'll show you another one. So that's our fuchsia. This is F-Bomb, which is our red. It is a blue-based red. It is a bit dark and it will, it will not go with your eyes, but this is a beautiful color. And then we have this one. This is Nars Dominique, which is a purple. Okay, I think with certainty we're gonna choose the fuchsia. Okay, good. Okay, look it up. And Lastly, we have lip gloss. This is also from Fenty, and this is in the shade Pretty Please. Pucker up. Excellent. And you look absolutely gorgeous. So take a closer look at that mirror over there and let me know what you think. Ah, oh, you love it? Excellent. I hope that you enjoyed this color analysis session and I hope that you are leaving with the knowledge that you need to be fully confident to wear color. But of course, confidence is about doing what you love, wearing what you love, and I hope that that is exactly what you do. This is just a guide, and I hope that, if anything, you had a lot of fun. Thank you so much.